They say time flies when you're having fun, but I've been online at Six Flags waiting to ride Goliath, and that is objectively untrue. I wrote a whole fucking paper on it whilst I was in line. I had the time. In reality, which is where we live, time passed the same as it always does, but to me, it was slow, boring, kind of crowded, and it ran out of Mountain Dew. That's weird, right? You ever think how weird time is? Like one moment you look at a clock and it's noon. Then a few seconds later you look and suddenly it's somehow 7 fucking p.m. Science says that has to do with stress, but like what doesn't? Time pressure is when you have a perceived amount of time to do a task. Like, I'm high on my couch like I was at noon and 7 p.m. yesterday, I think. And since I'm in quarantine, I got nowhere to go. So I feel like I got all the time to do my laundry. Like, I'll even separate colors by colors, socks by socks. I'll hang some of the daintier things I own to dry, making my bathroom look like it's the Great Depression. And then I'll browse my movies and comics. I'm not going to read nor watch any of them, mind you. I'm just going to graze them. Like, I'm making sure they're all still there. You don't know. Could have been burgled. Anyone can be burgled. There can still be burgles in the quarantine. And then I'm back to the couch. All because the time I perceive that I have is endless because there's nothing that an outside force is requiring me to do. The adults call those things responsibilities, but I prefer missions. Now let's just say the government mandates a lockdown in this quarantine. That means I can't go out for anything other than necessary supplies, care visits, exercise, or medical emergencies without incurring a fine and possibly jail time. Now, now, now that laundry seems necessary. Shopping seems necessary. Even the couch seems like it could at any time just disappear. That's because now I know I have a limit on the amount of time I'm allowed outside, and now time is countable, which means my mind is less focused on the task and more focused on the time that I have left. That's time pressure, and that is why time flies when you're having fun. And then sometimes time feels like it doesn't even move, like when you drop your cell phone or you hit your shin on that fucking end table. You hear me? You're on blast. Days are numbered, asshole. (sighs) That's because your mind is occupied with what's happening and no longer taking the time to perceive time. Time moves on whether we like it or not, no matter where we are. But even that's a little weird because, yeah, it's noon over here in Chi-Town. But in New York, it's an hour past noon, which is the future. And in Los Angeles, it's two hours before noon, which is the past itself. I tried calling my buddy Skeeler in Laguna Beach just to see if he saw all the dumb shit I did yesterday because I forgot. And he said, no, nah, bro, it's 10 a.m. I just got up. So what the fuck? Turns out time does not come from clocks. Nay, the clock is just a way to measure it. And because math, time starts in different places in different times, like a Doctor Who episode. Don't make that face. It's a beloved series that goes back decades. And those are called time zones. Why? Well, hop in my TARDIS and let's find out! Seriously, it's been on since like 1963. Okay, first off, you ever find your light? Like when the sun hits you just right and you know you look good? The Earth does that every day, all the time, even at night. The sun is always shining on us. We're just spinning like we're at a rave. And like when you're in a rave, rolling your ass off because Skeeler brought the good stuff, it feels fucking amazing when the sun hits your face. But you're spinning. Drink some water so it comes and goes around you. When it comes back around, feels fucking good. Around the second millennium BC, you started measuring the sun as it tore ass across the sky, but would always come back around, and eventually you called that solar time. More specifically, apparent solar time, because you were still eyeballing it. Responsibly. Which is time based on a person on the ground observing the sun. But, like, responsibly. Science eventually got to be the craze, and you started measuring this all with a dial, and divided the Earth into horizontal and vertical lines, spaced evenly apart. You called those meridians, and then came clocks! And blew everyone's fucking minds! This, by the way, is why you say, oh, clock. Because not long ago, some people were into clocks and others into dials. So you had to be v specific. And furthermore, now that you could measure the sun Tokyo drifting you every day, you used those meridians and you started measuring in mean solar time. And this was the damn jam for sailors because you had to get the ships on the same schedule. And then you started getting trains and rush hour. And you had to pick a spot to start counting from or everyone would get lost and go crazy. Kind of like when you're parking at Six Flags. So in 1884, the International Meridian Conference chose to make a starting point, which is zero degrees upsies and downsies, the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, England. 
Because, like, okay, Britain was first running the railroads and boats, and it's like all their shit was already there, and people just kind of went with it. I don't know. I wasn't there. And that zero degrees is the prime meridian, kind of like Optimus Prime, only it didn't get its ass handed to it by Megatron in 1986. And then you count out degrees from zero, east and west, and using the angle of the sun in relation to what meridian line you were on, you could, wait for it, make a zone of time relative to wherever you were on the globe. And then there's a bunch of other math and probably snacks, I assume. Anyway, that's why Skeeler is always fucking asleep when I call him at noon. 